Hi guys, it's me again. Um, daily pattern time. This one is Dipley. Another one by Shazia. Shazia has some really cool patterns and so um, this one looks like it's fun. Hopefully this will get me over the whole non-zen thing of the last pattern that I just did. So uh, let's give this a go. It is a couple of lumps, a teardrop shape, two of them in the corner, um, an aura, and then filling in some with some lines so that, you know, kind of looks like that when you're done. So we're going to give that a go. I'm going to, I think I'm going to, this one seems like it should have a border. <laughs> You know what? I'm going to just do a border. I think I'm just going to start at the bottom. That for me is the bottom. That for you is the bottom. Uh, for me is the bottom is this way. Um, and we're going to do... Maybe three? I'm going to do three. And then a sort of a teardrop shape in the corner. Like that. And then some auras. like this. And then we can put a little, I like having, when I do this kind of teardroppy shape, I, I really like having sort of a, almost a little leaf-like look to it. <clears throat> and then it looks like we just kind of fill in this spot here. A little Horizontal lines. Like so. That's the basic pattern right there. <clears throat> and then we can stack them. I think I'm going to make my arch really big. So that I can really see this sort of... <clears throat> oh, I am so sorry. I sneezed earlier and now I'm all congested. That sort of leafy, teardroppy shape. I'm going to go ahead and put in my little line and dot that I like to do here. And we're going to go up and around like that. And then we're going to just fill this puppy in like this. Maybe a little sparkle. Can I put a little sparkle in there? Sure, why not? My drawing, I can do whatever I want. Like that. I like that. Okay, something like this. I'm going to play with scale. I'm going to go ahead and put a really big one right here.
Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't do the aura. Huh. I'm missing. I'm missing this aura right there on this one and that one. Oh, well. <laughs> Maybe I can fix that. You know how I can fix that? I do. I just thought about it. And I can fix it. Now the aura will be different. But it'll still be there. And you know how I'll fix that? I will fix that by making the aura and then coloring it in. So then it'll still be there. It'll just be a black aura instead of a white aura. Like that. It kind of does need that aura to separate the, the little petal leafy shapes from these, this line. And then on this one, I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do it way out there. If I do it right, I can get a little bit of sparkle right there. Look at that. Problem solved. There's always a fix if you make a quote unquote mistake unless the pattern is so complicated that that you know you have to do it exactly a certain way or it doesn't come out at all you can always change or embellish or do something else with the pattern to make it so so far there's my tile um it needs something else up here and here but I really don't want to do another well <laughs> maybe I'll do that there's there's a there's a tangle called I think it's called float fest let me look it up I think that was what it was called give me a give me a moment here uh, oops not there. I have to go into a regular browser and type in. Ah, uh, autocorrect. No, stop autocorrecting. Then tangle, go. Let me see. <clears throat> yes. There's one called Float Fest. That's what I was thinking of. This one here. That would go really good as a companion tangle to this. To this. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, you. You can do this like that and this like that and then this one like so. Something like this, and like that, and like that. 
this. And like this. Then, the fun part, once you're done making these arches, wherever you want them, they can be big, they can be small, they can be tall and skinny, whatever fits your tile. I think I want one more right here. Then you follow this where this arch goes. Like this arch, this arch comes out here and it comes around and you follow it down. So this one, this one's just kind of behind the, that one, that's fine. This one comes up and it comes down and then you just come through here and you just follow this shape like that, okay? And then you do that for the next row. Just follow this shape. And then this row is the next row. This one comes up and round and it comes down here. And this one is this one. It's the next row, right? So this one comes out and it comes around here. This one comes through here. And through here. But they're all um, just like strings, like you've pulled on a sweater or something and you're just the loops. So you see through them. So like this one is gonna come down and it's gonna go through however many it has to go through. So it goes through that one and through that one. And this one is coming this way and it's coming this way. This one's going the way the shape is. Follow the shape of your line. They may not all go a, a direction that you're anticipating. one's going like that. This one is coming, it's actually coming this way. Okay, this one is coming this way. This one is coming like this and it's coming through that one. It's kind of like an unraveling sweater. This one is going where is this one going? This one's going way down to there. And this one is coming, actually coming this way. Like that. Okay. Okay, that is super fun. It needed that. And I actually might put a couple more. I'm gonna put one that goes this way. And this way. Like that. Needed it needed a little more right there at the bottom. Alright, so that was good. That was Oh, I've forgotten what the first one was called. Haha, <laughs> I should have written it down. I'm in the wrong page now. Let's see, go back to where I was on my phone. This was D, 
I P L Y. Little Dipply. That is super fun. And uh, probably could use a little bit of shading. I'm almost out of battery, which I should know better. I do that a lot. So let's give it a little bit of shading. Right here. If if I hear my camera turn off on me, then I will have to stop and change batteries, but I'm going to try to see if I can get it done before then. Just a little bit of shading on these little loopy bits. Just a tiny bit. Everywhere where they overlap, which is actually a lot of little places. You don't need much pencil, you just need enough to give your eye that little bit of shadow where they overlap. Something like that. Okay, let's give that a go. A little bit of blending. Stopped yet? Nope, I get it. I'm going off the page though because I'm trying to go so fast. Speedy Gonzalez here. Okay. Ah, there we go. Look at that. It's pretty. It's pretty, and I got it done before I lost battery power. Woohoo! Lots of good things happening today. Much better than yesterday. Yes, yes, yes. I am got my Zen back. All right, everybody. See you tomorrow. Bye.